at the Milford Railroad Station. Good. And I was a little upset. I missed two trains by the time I got there. <laughs> so tomorrow morning I'll be there at 5.30 and get those two trains. Yeah. <laughs> okay. um, excuse me if I have a little cheat sheet. Uh, I want to just include everything I've done. It's going to take less than two minutes. Um, I'm getting a great response from the campaign from all the people I've been meeting. Um, I've been going to all the Fowler concerts every Friday night. Uh, sometimes I meet Jude Tui there, I see Mr. Goodrich there, and Bill Bevan there, and they, been, between the three of them, they've been bringing me around and introducing me to people. Um, I've been going to the Walnut Beach activities. I've been to the Little League, Little League Games in West Haven, and the concert in Woodbridge on Tuesday night. And I want to thank Sue Tobias for starting my Door to Door campaign with Walk the Hub District. Um, and as I'm going along, I'm meeting retirees that are complaining because of the high cost of living and their pensions are being taxed. Um, I've been talking to young families as well, and they're upset about the high taxes and the high fees that they have to pay to sustain their businesses. One, one owner, business owner told me, he deals with hospitals and he makes uh, things to go in your hand, but you break your hand and you put in the little things in your home. He says it costs him $250 for every hospital that he goes to. And people are getting fed up. Um, and everybody is complaining to me, Democrats as well as Republicans. People in West Haven, people in Woodbridge, people in Orange, as well as Milford. Up. Democrats all coming up to me and might not like to listen to us either. I want to, and a few have been questioning me about the death penalty. And a lot of people are upset about the early release of prisoners from our prisons. After they get sentenced, they're given uh, like almost like a parole. That's unwarranted in our statutes. As far as the financial uh, situation goes, um, I've been every night before I go to bed. I have a schedule. When I get up in the morning, I'm either going to a business or I'm, I'm dropping off a contribution form. Every day, money is coming in or it's on its way in. Um, when this was written, I was about $2,000 away. And I ask you, if you have not yet donated to, the, to uh, the campaign, to please do so. If you did, can you find it to give a little more? Maureen and I have been cold calling. We've been calling people in Milford that don't even know us. They've given to REL in the past, and we've been calling these people up. Maureen and I are running out the door to get $10 contribution <laughs> because we want to reach our goal. Um, if, you, if you have given, or if you know somebody that could give, let us know, and we'll call them up. Like if you have a neighbor, say, Mike, somebody I know is going to give. Let us know. We'll call them up, and we'll ask, and we'll run out and get it. Now I want to talk about why we need it. It's because the state grant. The fact that we're going to do at least six or seven mailings for targeted voters in four towns. We are planning lawn signs, cable TV, newspaper ads, billboards, and some robocalling in late October. We're going to open up a headquarters soon, within the next week or so. And we are looking forward to working with everyone out of that office. And we plan to start out from there seven days a week. There will be letter and card mailing, phone calling, and voter ID operations all the way up until election day. I have to say, I wouldn't have gotten this far without the support of everybody in this room. Because you guys are special. And we're going to make some comeback in November that, the, that we're going to make heads spin. I want to personally thank Senator, beside you people in here, the Senate Republicans have declared me a targeted candidate. I'm getting help from Hartford. They're coming down and giving me advice. But I also have to tell you, we have our own unsung heroes right in this room. But just to name, I want to just point out, Wynn Smith, Senator Smith, came in. I was like the Energizer Bunny. I was going all around in circles. Senator Smith came in my house and straightened me out and put me on track. And that's the track I've been following. That's why, one of the reasons why every day I know what I'm doing the next day, thanks to Senator Smith. Tom, Senator Tom Scott has come on board. He's only a phone call away.
He came to my last funder, fundraiser at Dan Gurman's house, and he's put me on the fine tuned me where the Republicans stand and how I can effectively run a good campaign. And so he's just a phone call away, and that's my that's also a help for me. And I want to also say I look forward to working with Michael and Pam and going to door door to door with them as well as a solid unit. And I'll be walking with them every chance I get. And to sum up, I want to thank everyone for their support and encouragement. Like I said, I asked them to dig a little deeper so we can get, I want to put this behind me so I can get go forward. And I promise you, I will work day and night to win this seat and get back sanity in Hartford. Let me pack my bags and go to Hartford so you won't have to pack your bags and leave this state. I thank you.